People repeatedly claim that crow dispersal leads to reductions of songbird populations. A large study summarizing 42 studies and 326 explicit assertments of the relationship between a corvid and a potential prey species concluded that the presence of crows and other corvid had no significant limiting effect on songbird population size. In fact, in 6% of cases, the researchers found that the presence of crows and corvids even benefited other birds. How is this possible? Isn't it true that crows kill pigeons and smaller birds and also raid their nests? Unlike birds of prey, crows are omnivores. Pigeons are usually not in their prey pattern and smaller songbirds are usually not hunted by them. It is true that crows will raid the nests of smaller birds when they have the opportunity, but this is part of the natural balance and happens also without crows. Squirrels, foxes, hawks, owls, etc., rats, and of course cats also like to eat birds' eggs and nestlings. It also happens that crows' nests, in their turn, are plundered by birds of prey. This is the reason why birds of prey are driven out of their territories by groups of crows, which in turn benefits the smaller songbirds. And that is not only because birds of prey raid the nests of songbirds. Unlike crows, which are omnivores, birds of prey also hunt smaller songbirds quite deliberately and thus pose an acute danger to adult birds as well. Crows are therefore not a threat to songbird populations, but a healthy part of them. Our current suburbs in particular provide a habit with significant biodiversity where crows and other songbirds coexist very well, as highlighted by American ornithologist John Maslow in his book Welcome to Suburbia. If there is nevertheless a reduction of songbird populations, scientists suspect human habitat factors are more likely to be the cause than crows or other corvids. After all, crows are themselves part of the songbirds. 